Okay, now we're looking at the main menu. So the, the top one is test menu, uh, and that takes you to all your different tests. I'm going to press escape. The next one down is fuel options. This is for your flue gas analysis, so you can do LPG, heavy oil, light oil, natural gas, etc, etc. And you just simply use the left and the right hand buttons to scroll up and down, and then pick the desired fuel by pressing the middle key, and it sets it into the analyzer. Next one down is units of measurement. So uh, obviously if you go into pressure, we've got, if you can see that, we've got millibar, pascals, kilopascals, PSI. So again, you just go up and down, pick which units of pressure you want, press the middle button to confirm, and it sets it in. Then you've got temperature, degrees centigrade and Fahrenheit. You've got efficiency. Now this is where you set the efficiency as a default. So if you're doing, a, you know, mainly condensing boilers, you're fitting new boilers all the time, then you set that for net HE. Uh, for high efficiency condensing boilers and it will always default to that. When you're in the flue gas analysis screen you can toggle um, and uh, you can set it from net HE to, to gross or, or, or just to uh, net as you, as you see fit but this is the default. Next one down you've got analyzer settings uh, so you've got auto time out. Now that's basically if you don't use the analyzer for so many minutes, it will turn itself off to save your battery life. Um, then you've got backlight. Go into there. You can do. Uh, you can turn it off. I don't think I've ever received one with it off. But you've got off. You've got dim, or you've got bright. Most of the time they're just on bright. Then you've got key click. You'll notice when uh, if I stop talking for a second, you can notice when I press the buttons, I'm getting a key click. Um, which, is, which is confirming that you're pressing the key. Some people find that annoying, so you can turn it off. So if you want to turn that, you can disable that uh, so you don't have that noise. Then if you've got an Evo 3, which this one is, then you've got the report option in here. And the report means that you can toggle between printer, you know, infrared printing option, or Bluetooth if you want to use it with Sprint Mobile software. Um, and then underneath that we've got supervisory settings. Now supervisory settings can be protected by a password which means only the supervisor can change anything in here. So you've got set time and date, um, you've got edit report header which is um, on, where you can put your company name and your telephone number in so it prints out on the reports. Print out due date um, is, is a function that you can, where it prints out on the bottom view of your printout so uh, in my opinion that should always be on there. Um, you've got flu CO alarm. If you're in a, in a flu and it goes above 300 parts per million, it will alarm to show you that it's, uh, it's on the high side. Now, obviously, we know some appliances do operate above 300 ppm, um, so you can disable that if you don't want that to, to alarm. Um, and then you've got, uh, that's where you'd actually enter your password. And if you had a password in now, I wouldn't have been able to get into there without putting the password in first. And obviously, the password also protects if your analyzer uh, God forbid, did get stolen. It means that nobody, apart from them, you know us, would be able to change that password. So um, your your details, your header details, would be um, in that instrument until the likes of us uh, were to take it out. And that's it for your um, for your main menu. Uh, bar the, the last one, which is stored logs. Go into stored logs. And these are all the logs that you've taken for your test. You can select a log by a number. Um, well if I just press select a log, it's the top one there. And I select that, you've got uh, all your different logs and it just and it defaults to the top one. If I go find a log by number, and I happen to um, make a, every time I do a log, I happen to write it on a job sheet or in a, in a diary, I could then go log to search and it goes straight to that log. Um, press escape and then I've got delete all logs which deletes the whole lot. Um, we've had these up to three, four hundred logs so you're not short of log space. Most people just leave the logs in there until it gets full fill up um, and then they start overriding, uh, it starts overriding taking the last log out. So there's, there's plenty of log space in there for you. And that, um, that's all of the main menu explained.